here's the schedule. We start the stream today with a match at home against SV Reed. Then we're at home against Rapid Vienna. Then we are away to Sturm Graz. We play Tottenham at home, Rapid Vienna away, Amstetten away, Tottenham away. Tottenham, of course, not in the Austrian Bundesliga. That is our Europa League semifinal. Uh, and we also have our cup semifinal. If we get to the final, we play Klagenfurt, who's literally a second division team, which means let's win the semifinal so that we can probably win the entire cup. Oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> YouTube, what's up? Hello? It's me. I was wondering if after all these years, you'd like to subscribe right here down below the... You guys think that's going to work? I think I'll, I'll think we'll get at least one click out of that. Dude, we might... Paolo Cesar going wide, Axel Perez going through the middle, Aliu is there, we have Garcon, we, we, we have at least one option, you know, like one option, so Rodriguez, Garcon, Perez, Paolo Cesar, Pablo Rodriguez, Julian Knapp, oh, I really could use like an actual team. Let's go, lads, at home, at the Yizda, first match of the stream. And we have been forced into major rotation as one must. How about this? Just an early goal. Just processing. That looked remarkably easy. Nice tackle. Oh. Oh, nice play. Opens up the passing lane. Pablo Rodriguez. Goal! Man, he's good. <laughs> Axel's being rotated in. B plus. That was good. He's well and truly back. Yeah, the early season injury is over. He had like two goals in the first seven months of the season. He's got like 10 goals, it feels like, down <laughs> the last two streams down this stretch. I was just a composed finish. Oh, nice. Plow Mike. Goal! Look, I don't even know whose fault this is on their team. It's just like an outstanding play to somehow get that on target from Julian Knapp. And he gets it on target. It's 2 nothing. Okay. I think we're doing well. We, Amadou Zadi is about to try and decapitate someone. He's got that. He's got that Oyurawath. That Nick Lima look in his eye over there. First game, yeah, first game today. League. Whoa, whoa! Ref. Hey! 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 Fake whistle! Hey! He's got a family! Match engine to, just does not leave people back to deal with potential flick-ons. We must send the entire defensive line to Sawadogo in that situation. They have missed two very clear chances. We have not been great, but we've been precise, and we just scored again, so we got that going for us. Really unfortunate scoreline for them. This is good from uh, Paulo Cesar, who is somebody that could definitely use some good play and then Axel Perez we know what he's capable of this goalkeeper is just not good Pablo lets it run Salzburg's really getting embarrassed here they are been terrible in the championship group they're losing to St. Poulton who we've proven is like actually pretty good uh we're gonna make some changes here oh my goodness we have uh he's off how they're gonna call that offside against like some random person I'm not saying Ramsdale's a bad keeper. I'm just saying he is one of those guys. Yeah, they're going to flag Zadi, who I don't think touched it. He's just kind of there. So it's my favorite type of offside. But that, I look, I'm American, and that's my number one derby, and I've never liked Chicharito. But I think Javier Hernandez was incredibly overrated for a lot of his career. Uh, Yeah, vo long term viability. Pablo Rodriguez scoring a goal out of the very top drawer. I mean, honestly, I thought both of his goals were pretty standard, but whatever. 
I guess. Yeah, maybe. Sure. All right, cool. Rodriguez impresses. He does. He impresses me every day with his attitude. Uh, St. Poulton did win two to one. Salzburg pulled one back late, but we are actually, we, we finished third in the league last year. We're freaking 10 points clear right now. The treble is on lads. And we need our right back, which is Linus Volkvist. So the backups managed to get the win against SV that is. And now we play rapid Vienna. The only team in the league this season that has beaten us. The only one. We finished third last year. We were in second with a chance to finish first if we beat Rapid Vienna on the final day of the season, and they beat us. They passed us. They went into second. We moved down to third. It was Heartbreak City everywhere. Now we have a chance to just kick them while they're down and blast a 13-point lead with six matches to go. We are the team of destiny this year after fumbling the bag so hard last year. Nice, nice play. Oh, and he's got Pablo. I thought Pablo was going to rip it. Oh, it is. Dude, why would you go with your weak foot? Oh, we want to win all three. I know we've got a skeleton crew of a roster because of our transfer window in January, but we want to win all three. That would have been so unlucky. That was a really nice play by Volkfist to cut that off, and then it went right to Tiferner. I think that gets blocked if he puts it on target, but that was painful. Bad reactions from the defense here. It was just very porous. I just want to watch the way this happens. So it goes to Deferner the right wing. And then is that, is that on like Torbjornsson? I mean, we just give up this complete passing lane to Kronberger. LAU. Yes, there it is. Nice pass. That was such a good pass. I'll take a corner. Ah. Good. We got the runs in there. Linus. Finds a wide open Sander Hinneman. Doing? doing well, Andy Candy. Thank you for those five. Tony, thanks to the tier one. Sin Lowe's, thanks to the two. PK, thank you for the two. Appreciate the Bezos bucks. Oh, Falkfist again. The Maestro again! <laughs> Get in, losers! We're winning the league! Get in! Get in, losers! No, Owen's never scored it easy. Elinus Volkvist should be the MVP of this game. I don't know if he's going to get that. All the hate that poor old Linus got because we happened to sign an old guy. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, because we happened to sign an old guy to play a position for a season or two that we didn't have some young wonder kid in, and Linus got all this hate. And look at Linus Volkvist now. Yieldies, shoot it. Adrian Rodriguez special right there. Great work. We are one match away from potentially clinching a league title in Austria for the second time in a hundred years. Indomitably unstoppable. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at our goal difference. We have been so, I mean, considering we finished third last year, we have been so much better than every team here. Uh, we're going to fully rotate our team for this match, by the way, because we have Tottenham coming up in a couple of days. And we want to make sure that our team is fully fit. So we're going to play with a pretty watered down team against Sturmgratz, which means it is totally possible we do not win this match to like clinch the league title. Totally possible. And we actually have a fully rotated team once Oberschmied pops in. So we've got Rogel, Oberschmied, Sadi, Shodin, Rodriguez, Yildiz, Paulo Cesar, Garcon, Rodriguez, and Julian Knapp. We're going to start Given and Henneman against Tottenham. And that is, uh, that's the team. That's the setup. If we win this match, we are Austrian League champions for the first time in two years. 
and we immediately respond to the heartbreaking third place finish of last season with an emphatic league title. And we're trying to do it with our backup lineup in away to Sturmgrads. That's what we are trying to do. Enjoy the bacon of the emotes. Make sure you get the subsection of the Discord, my dude. <laughs> That is net. He wanted the give and go. We did the right things. Oh, there he is, Paulo! What do we say? Are we winning the league today? Are we just too good? Are we just too good that our backups are going to win us the league today? Are we just too good? I, uh, chat, we might just be too good. Paulo Cesar with a cheeky little dink from Sean Rogel. We might just win the league. Oh, Why don't we just win the league today? He played the semis. They're next. It's the next match. We would love to go into that with a league title. For just the second time ever. After finishing third last year. Go play it, play it, play it. He's there. It's got to be a goal. Julian Krapper scored! He couldn't miss! And Florence still for our obliterating Sturmgratz on the big stage now. And they have met Sturmgratz. A team that's perpetually given them problems. Oh no. Over there. Thank you, Zani. What a way to potentially win the title, right? Like what a way to do it with the backups on the field because we have a European match in three days. And we're like, you know what? Speaking way too soon, way too soon. Alright. Why is he doesn't score a worldie from there? Great celebratory scenes. Love that, boys. Absolutely love that. Excellent celebratory scenes. What does it mean to win the league? Thank you. Uh yeah, it feels very nice. I loved all the confetti. I loved the uh I love the trophy raising. I loved everything that happened there. Uh, you know, I loved the the winning the league that happened. Uh, and I really appreciate Football Manager giving me the opportunity to celebrate that. Uh, we have won the admirable, uh, the, the admirable, the admiral Bundesliga after losing it to Salzburg and finishing behind Rapid Vienna. We're ahead of progress of the board stuff. And oh my goodness, we have won the league. And we all know that that only means one thing. Not only do we have our first of potentially three trophies today, we have reclaimed the league title from Dirty Salzburg. We have done so with enthusiasm. We have done so with four matches to spare in a way that nobody's won this league in a long time. We are that team. We are the Kings. 77 goals, 4 and 28 matches, 14 against, 25 wins in 28 matches, including a way to Sturmgrads with the freaking backups to clinch a league title. One loss to Rapid Vienna, two draws. They don't even mention who they were against because it doesn't matter. We're just that cool. Two question press conference. Yeah, what's up? Absolutely delighted. I'm absolutely delighted. Special day for everyone at the club. We won the league! I'm going to need absolutely everything you have for the ensuing celebrations.
more likely to need uh, San Rogel than we are likely to need Christian Yildiz in this situation. We rested our first team, so they are fit. It's Leandro, Volkvis, Nova, Ishtar, Bjornsson, Nadefari, Zapata, Aliyu, Vanderhorst, Axel Perez, Ivan Marquez, and Sander Henneman uh, with a bench of Oberschmied, Shodin, Rogel, Garcon, Adrian Rodriguez. Well, switch those. Sretskovic and Pablo Rodriguez. They have Jungman's son. Still. How old is he? He's 36. Great. Veteran winger. Really? You think so? All right, time to get out of the we just won the league mode and focus because this is the biggest match in club history now. The first time we've ever been to a European semifinal as a club after our first ever Champions League run. Got all the way to the quarterfinals last year. We're clearly a great tournament team. We're going to need to be amazing today. Divimgans! We come to you today. To pray that you not change Tottenham's fortunes now. For I know you know that it is Tottenham. And I know you know that it should be easy. But they are a team of serious talent. But they are missing one thing. They do not have you, FM Gods. For we have done all we have this season. We've won the league already this season. In your name, FM Gods. In your name. And we've carried the torch to these Europa League semifinals today. Because we know that your infinite wisdom allows anyone to win a game on Football Manager. And we need that infinite wisdom today. We need the bounce of the ball and the grace of you FM gods if we are to continue our journey to the Europa League final to win it in your honor. So give us that today in the name of Joe Lewis. Real Madrid and Ajax. Yes, yes, yes. Turn. Sander. The bell 
Argentine Angel has lit up the Europa League semi final inside 16 minutes. Exceptional from Sander Henneman. The knee's just fine. Thank you very much. Where are we on this play? Why? Sorry, yeah, I'm moving my head. This is where we lose it right here. That's Portuguese national team center back right there. I don't know what he's doing. Joshua, how you doing today? Joshua, Tottenham loves a good German. There you go. Let's freaking go! Oy! Well, they have two shots in the entire game in 30 minutes. As long as your defender stays on the inside, that is a pass that is available. I'm shocked he missed that, honestly. Okay, better, better. Zapata, good. Given Marquez, good. I mean, that's just beautiful. I mean, that is a beautiful team goal. Given Marquez, a composed finish from the Brazilian who joined in just January. Damn good ball for a guy that's being checked very, very passionately by our defense. Who's that? There it is. Yes. Oh, and Vanderhorst. He's in on goal. What? Hanneman. Aliyu. Van. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Vanderhorst, that pass was disgusting. Not Advari, you're freaking me out. Couple of really good challenges on a yellow, though. Aliyu, oh my goodness, it's all oh, that pass. Oh, that pass. Oh, if that pass was on his chest, we were there. You're fast enough. How does that go in? That's on the keeper. Oh, how does that shot go in? Yeah, we'll go with uh, Rogel. Oh, how does that go in? Still too loose. They just weren't close enough to him when we... Oh, yes! The pass. Is that even? Yeah. There. We're there. Chill. Chill. Thank you so much. That's it. Oh, my. He's on. Other center back held him on. Come on, Sander. It's Sander Hinneman. It's Sander Hinneman again for Florid Stolfer AC. And the 18-year-old etching his name in history. Thank goodness. Well done. Good win. Dub. And Ajax, as I saw you guys mentioning this, Ajax just beat Real Madrid 4 0 in the other semi final. So, looks like whoever wins our tie will be playing Ajax the final. How about 18 year old Xander Henneman absolutely going nuts? Oh, Pochettino's still the coach. Wow. Okay. Well, wait, no. He came back. <laughs> he just became the Spurs coach this year. He was at PSG until 2027, then went to Milan for a year, and now he's the head coach in Spurs again. Thanks for admitting that uh, we deserve the win. I appreciate that.
I appreciate that, Mauricio. Left back is Igor Sudin. And that is the fully rotated team. You ready? Time to play away to Rapid Vienna. With an entirely backup squad. That's going to be fun. Okay. All part of our plan. Lull them to lull them into confidence early. That's part of our plan. This is a league game. Yes, it's the Vienna Derby. Oh no, 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 no. San Rogel, he's like not even a <laughs> San Rogel doesn't even go that hard. Why is why? 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 Get this ball out of here. We're going to win anyways. In the rain, we're just going to catch him on a long ball. And then that's game, set, and match. It's going to be a fun day. Why is Linus hurt? That's my starting right back. Who's only in Kassan Rogel can't keep it in his freaking. You're telling me we got a red card to drag one of my starters off the bench. And then, and then in the first half, that starter picks up an injury. Is this a joke? Ah, Pablo. Uh, we have just picked up our second loss of the season. Away to Rapid Vienna. Thank you to San Rogel for just, like, <laughs> being awful. Hey, frustrating. But he's a very talented player. The suspension will miss the Admiral Bundesliga game against Salzburg. All right, that's fine. I'll appeal against the suspension. Why not? Yes. Okay, it's a bruise. So Volkvist should be ready if we just rest him all the way through to the match against Tottenham. Better news. I am going to actually be missing two guys. Amadou Zadi is going to be suspended. Oh, no, what he said. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, football manager? Are you kidding me? Is it a joke? The message literally said he wasn't going to be suspended for the cup match, and now he is suspended for the cup match. Is Rapid Vienna the new Benfica? So that's the way we're going to have to line up. Uh, it's not an overpowered lineup. Cup semifinal. After a disappointing 2 nothing away defeat to Rapid Vienna, we have signed Kevin Quintana, a very nice balanced 19-year-old keeper from Paraguay, who I think will be Paraguay's number one goalkeeper in some time. He's going to join us in the summer and do a loan tour to help him develop into... I hope a darn good player. We'll see. We are playing Amstetten. They are a bottom half of the league team, which means, theoretically, we should be able to win. Oh, good pass. It's always going to be tough to fit that near post. and you've got us feeling all right. Fits our system. You know, he's club homegrown. How did both of you miss? How in the heck did both of you miss that ball? There's no way did it happen twice in the same play. There is no way. Did this happen twice? You both meant how the heck? What am I watching? There you go. Good pass by Julian Knapp. Wow. The keeper was almost in no man's land, even. He's got his head in his hands. 
I wanted it to be comfortable so that we could just make substitutions and they all could be... Oh my goodness, Igor Shodin. All right, Julian Knapp, Given Marquez, again, dropped in. This time he is behind. I am... All right, Julian. That's a pass, Julian. That's a pass. Thank you. There's Xander again. It's tough to stay focused. It's tough to stay locked in in a game like that. Tough to make sure everybody's doing their job because I know it's a big game. It's a cup semifinal. It's only the third time we've ever been to the cup semifinal. We lost one and we'd won one previously. Uh, but there's just so many big things going on around the uh, around the team right now. It's basically just hard to stay focused on the road. Uh, wow, Julie, really? Wow. I did not notice that Julian Knapp had all three assists and he did it with five vision. He had all three assists, 11 key passes, and a 10.0 rating. All right, Julian. But have you ever heard a bad accordion player? No, nope. I'm pretty sure you're either born being able to play the accordion or you just never pick up an accordion. That's kind of how it works. Remarkably, the entire team we have set up to take the field today is fit. I have no idea how we've pulled this off. But the entire team we have set to, well, by resting everybody, we, the entire team we have set to take the field today is at least fit for the start of the match. We've got our cup final in a week against Klagenfurt. We've got the two Usterreich Klassikers against Salzburg back to back, sandwiching both of those. And I hope we have one massive match to play at the end of the season that we have to look forward to. And tonight we'll determine whether we have that opportunity. David Downey, thank you so much for the 13 months. Raylan, thank you so much for the 12. Bad, thank you for the prime. Phil, thank you so much for the five. Donkey Polis, thanks for the prime. Socks, thank you for the prime. Linus, so happy to have Linus Volkfist out there today. Oh, he's there. No, he's not. Yes, he is. It's a great tackle by that guy. First shot of the game. Oh, this is good. Our defense looks very sharp today in a way that it did not last time. Like, we're anticipating, we're, we're dispossessing them. Great pass by Aliyu. Splits the lines. Oh, and then, oh my. Oh. oh, good save. We have to block that. We are literally right there next to that guy. You have got to disrupt that play, Fernando. They can't press wide either. Neither of us can, because they decided to go narrow to counter what we do. But we were born into this. Oh, now did Vari. Oh, and Vanderhorst! It is really hard to smother the corner the way he just did. Oh, Vanderhorst. We can run with him. That's it. Let's freaking go, dude! Let's freaking go! Yes! We, oh, it's like Ajax beat them 4-1. No. Madrid did win at home. They didn't win by four. So it's us and Ajax for the Europa League title. We have knocked Tottenham out in the semifinal. The final venue is in... Oh, shut up. Shut, shut up. It's not in the Netherlands. We're not playing Ajax in a final in the Netherlands. That is not That is not what's happening. No, that's totally not it. Okay, cool. Really glad that's not it. That's great. Leandro, Rogel, Oberschmied, Garcon, Shodin, Rodriguez, Porto Masebi, uh, Paulo Cesar, Christian Yildiz, Kabilski, and Julian Knapp. And we will be playing against... Salzburg, thank you for asking. Great. 
a tremendously talented team in the Easterite Classicer who we have not played against in the championship group yet, rather remarkably. And this is our first match against them in the championship group. Yeah, of course. I'm a diehard Lightning fan, diehard Tampa fan. And uh, yeah, I know our faith. Oh, go in! Nice pass. This is really not a bad buildup. They were not letting them get particularly close to us. Probably nowhere even close. Oh, get in, Julian! He just... He didn't get a good touch on it. Sure didn't. Oh, yes! Oh, come on. Oh, steal this. Come on. We're fine. <laughs> Made me change my tab. Dude, I'm sorry. I didn't think about that. I was just... We were trying to will the mystery man from Belarus, Kabelski, into scoring a winning goal. It didn't happen. Porto Mazabi had a 7.1, though. Didn't, didn't do too much, but a draw away to Salzburg is never a bad result. It is a good result with the team that we brought with us. Uh, and so we are happy that we picked that draw, kept momentum going, and we've got Clog and Furt in the cup final. We said we were going to finish the season today. Almost a working assumption that Tottenham, because of their vast financial resources, more than we have, or at least more than we have when we built this team, uh, was going to beat us, right? But as we've continued, I've felt a progressing feeling of guilt because the YouTube is not caught up. And I always tell people that the YouTube will get caught up every weekend. And it hasn't. Totally my fault. But I always tell people that, look, if you if you, if you you don't want to have any spoilers on the stream and you want to be fully caught up with the story, you watch the YouTube. And you know, come to the stream, you catch up over the weekend and come to the stream. Well, I haven't, uh, I have not given the people on YouTube, which is a, a considerable number of people, a considerable number of people, the opportunity to enjoy what could be a really spectacular last couple of games here. But I owe it to the YouTube people to catch the live channel up. And then so everybody is on the same page and they know what's going on because we are in a European final.